guys, welcome back to the Simmy Plum Bob channel, and today we're gonna continue on with The Sims 3 Island Paradise. So, uh, yeah, we are still in the spot where uh, Palmyra's boat has been boat napped by the Kraken, or really broken by the Kraken, I should say. So, uh, yeah, she's freaking out over the water, she's like, oh my god. I was just fishing, and now I am, uh, boatless. I don't have a boat anymore. My boat, her boat is gone. <laughs> her boat is gone. She needs another boat. But, uh, uh, let's, uh, actually send her on her way to Plunder Cove. Let's send her home, and so that she can, like, try to remain calm. <laughs> You need to get out of this water. You are freaking out too much, Palmyra. She's like, oh my god. Oh my god, 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 I gotta go home. I gotta go home now. She's like, please, 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 please don't attack me again. Please don't crack it. I just wanted to go fishing. Honey! Honey! Honey, 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 honey! Okay, what is it? What's wrong, Palmyra? What's going on? What's going on? What's wrong? Uh, whoa, the Kraken whoa, is real. Whoa. It's real. It came up, attacked my boat, and kicked me out of my boat. It totally broke it. Totally ate it. She was like, what? Uh, uh huh? It's like the Kraken is real. It's totally real. Oh my god. I was fishing, and I didn't mean to catch the Kraken, but I was trying to catch, like, normal fish, you know? Uh... Palmyra? <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go eat and go to bed. That was crazy. <laughs> She's like, okay. She just spoke a lot of nonsense. <laughs> Martina's like, my wife is freaking out and I don't know why. She just spoke a lot of nonsense. Maybe I should, like, send a text to the dad here. So, um... Um, send him a friendly text. Hey, I'm worried about your daughter. She says she saw the Kraken. Receive text from Martina. He's like, wait, what? Uh, give baby food. He's like, he's like, what? It's okay. He <laughs> just said he got a text from when he <laughs> It's like, okay, um, I think I'll come over after work today and check on her. <laughs> it's like, okay, I got a text from Martina saying that my daughter was speaking madness. Oh, and this broke too, so it's a good thing he can come over and fix that for them. Everybody knows the Kraken is just a myth. It's not even real. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh my god, that is so funny. She's also feeling unlucky, so I feel like she she would be more inclined to not believe what Palmyra is saying. Because you know Palmyra is kind of like, um, you know, kind of like insane and a loser. So she's like, I don't even know if I believe a word she said. It sounds like too far-fetched for me to believe, so I need you to like help me uh level level this out you know because i've never seen her that hysterical before you know her birthday is a one day oh my god she's already gonna be a teenager like they're growing up way too fast uh jesslyn oh my gosh your children are growing up way too dang fast she's like laying in bed dreaming of that kraken wanting to take a picture of it now seriously you want to take a picture of that kraken <laughs> <laughs> dreaming about the fish, dreaming about the picture of the Kraken. She's like, yeah, it's real. I don't care if anybody else doesn't believe me or not. It's real. I'm gonna go into that water again and I'm gonna fish and maybe I could catch the Kraken. <laughs> That's where her insane mind strictly goes to. She thinks she can catch that big squid, that giant Kraken. Oh my gosh. That's insane right there. That is that is insane in the membrane right there. Her sister is actually employed in this career as well. Christabel. Her oh, she works with her sister and her her boss is her dad. Oh, of course she got this job. 
Oh, wow. Of course. Of course. Her family got her this gig. Of course. Congratulations. Wow. Just by doing that, we got a promotion. Jesslyn has an uh, been conferred to the new title of Eagle Eye by the East of Paradiso Town Council in the recognition of her valuable contributions to the workforce. The lifeguard chair, as, as your perch, you watch the seas like a hawk. You can spot a seal in distress from a mile away. They cover that distance in no time flat. Jesslyn can now run like the lifeguarding legends. What? What does that mean? <laughs> Jessica now makes 1,480 simoleons per week and works from 10 to 6. Everyone in the audience loosened their ties to sit back and listen to your wonderful presentation. Before long, everyone was up conversing using the skills you taught them. The business gladly set aside some cash to cover your costs. So sweet! Uh, so I'm guessing that that was for our charisma skill that presentation was. Oh, what's this? Saw a great play. Sims loved, um, Sims loved to watch people on stage doing funny and unexpected things right before their eyes. Sometimes they get the strangest feeling of deja vu. Hmm. There's only one game left in the whole damn season and he's lost every single game. <laughs> Oh my god, that's bad. Anyways. <laughs> She's still scared of the water. So uh, he's going to come over here and repair that for her as soon as he gets off work. And chat with her about why she is so scared right now. Yeah, and I have a feeling we're going to get the scuba diving up in this scuba diving session. Oh my goodness, there is a plane driving so close to my apartment right now making really loud noises right now so if you can hear it i apologize but oh my god it's really loud in person <laughs> palmyra what's this i've been hearing about the kraken it's like dad you'll never ever ever How ever ever believe this but the kraken is real he attacked my boat <laughs> oh my gosh we're so freaking close Oh, and there's a shark right there. Lovely. Uh, I've been fishing uh, for a very long time. Uh, for a couple of years uh, now, right? Uh, slow, slow, and uh, the Kraken came when uh, I was uh, 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 talking uh, about... CB <laughs> uh -huh. When I was... Uh, <laughs> Dad, it's real. It's like, how could it be real? The Kraken is just a myth, honey. The Kraken is not real, babe. He goes, yes, it is. It ate my house, Dad. It ate my house. It ate my boat, Dad. And he goes, hmm... I don't know about that one. It's like, Dad, look around. I don't have a boat anymore. Why would I be lying about something like this? I am telling you the truth. You're right. I don't see your boat anywhere. It's like, yeah. He is creeped out. Palmyra sure is acting creepy. He said he's a little creeped out about her story. It's like, okay. All right, fine. I will get you a new boat, okay? But... Try to keep this talk of the cracking on a minimum, all right? Because nobody believes me. I swear I will get a picture one day. I promise I will get a picture and show you. I'm going to go fishing and prove to you that the Kraken is weird. That the Kraken is real, Dad. I can't believe you don't believe me. It's like, oh... Oh my gosh, Theodore really wants to believe her, but at the same time, he's like, the Kraken? And he also knows that his daughter is insane, okay? He already knows that, so he's like, the Kraken is real? I don't know about that one, he says. Poor Palmyra, nobody believes her. That is sad. He's gonna- No, you ain't. He's gonna go ahead and go home and, uh, do what he do. Yeah! Yeah, uh, congratulations. Jesslyn has just improved her scuba diving skill to level 10. Woohoo! Jesslyn has mastered the scuba diving skill. So we're finally going to open this last treasure chest. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah, what do we get for level 10? Was it worth it? Okay, so we got... 5,000 simoleons, a large crystal ball cut rainbow gem, large plutonium ingot, emerald, Mr. Mariner gnome, ruby, and a yellow sapphire. All right, so you're not going to sleep. You're going to come over here. You're going to boat here, and you're going to go fishing because you are so mad nobody believes you right now. 
She's like, you all making me feel like I'm a loser or something. I thought I got over that from high school. <gasps> Poor baby. Oh my gosh. You need to go to bed. It's 11 o'clock. It's really, really late. All right. So while she's out of the water, let's actually go ahead and sell her fish and try to see if how much we have accumulated since we reached level 10. All right, now we got 23,468 simoleons out of 40k. Oh, good grief. <clears throat> let's go ahead, clean that up, and go to bed. Well, actually, let's actually, uh, woohoo together. Why not? Can't believe nobody believes me. Everybody treats me like I'm a liar, or I'm a loser, or I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm insane. I am not insane. I know what I saw. I know what I saw. Why does nobody believe me? Look at her face. She's like, nobody believes me. Why? She's like, why? I don't get it. It's like, I don't get it. Nobody believes me. But here I am out in the waters again, risking my life, trying to prove that I ain't lying about this. It's around this time where the Kraken just swam and attacked your boat last time, so be careful, Palmyra. She's like, I am counting on this Kraken to come back. He will come back. Just watch. 8 a.m., he's gonna be here. <laughs> my wife is acting so crazy. It makes me so sad to see her so distressed. Well, it's 8 o'clock. Still no Kraken. Ugh. It's like, what did I do last time? Why didn't the Kraken come? Oh, okay then. It's like, I can't believe he didn't show. Stupid Kraken. Making me look stupid in front of my family and my wife. <laughs> oh my god, Belmira, that's funny. Catch six fish, then sell fish at the supermarket to earn a little bit of money. Okay. Oh, Lily got on honor roll. Hell yeah. There you go. Your preparation paid off in victory, which means popularity with your teammates and the cash prize promised to the victors. Who said hanging with teammates couldn't be fun and profitable? The presentation you gave was excellent. It was an extra special touch that the Parent Teacher Association set aside enough money so that every child could have their own hammer to practice with. There was just enough money left over to pay you for your time. Sweet. All right, Lily has reached her teen years. Hallelujah. Let's see. Okay, Lily, let's see what we want you to be here. You know what? I kind of want to make her irresistible. Oh my goodness, she's got thick eyebrows. I'm going to help her out a little bit. She is so cute, though. Look how cute she is. I think it would be so cool to have her wear this. It'd be like a young Jesslyn look, I feel like. That'd be so cool. She looks like a young Jocelyn for sure. Go ahead and get her a new look. And this is a Jesslyn's daughter, Lily Medina. We're gonna have to upgrade her room to a teenager's room real quick. And that is her brand new room. He is now an elder. Oh my god. Who got nervous? Theodore aged up to an elder without me. Without me there. Oh my god. Oh, Lily is having a mood swing. Yikes. It seems like Lily got out of the wrong side of the bed today. Be prepared for some rebellious behavior from her. Lily, uh, she wants to learn how to drive. She wants to skip school. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, you're gonna get yourself in trouble today, Lily. She's like, I don't care. I want to skip school. Okay, okay. She wants to beat someone up? Girl, no, 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 no. We're not gonna cause destruction. I'll allow you to skip school, but we're not going to, like, be bullies ourselves, Lily. Wouldn't that be a turn of events? Her older sister get bullied all through high school, and then her little sister becomes one of the bullies to some kids. That's insane. It's almost 7 o'clock and still no cracking. Still no cracking. Ugh. Where is that thing at? <laughs> the Explorers Club of Aquatic Research congratulates you, Jessa Medina, for your mastery of deep sea diving and exploration. For your underwater achievements, please accept this handsomely framed certificate to be displayed on your wall. Ooh, we're sorry about your recent boating accident, but we told you Kraken Insurance was a worthwhile investment. Here's a check for $4,200 to cover your loss. We got paid some insurance for that boat. She really put it in. And she's like, look, my boat is gone. She goes, the, the, ah. and the insurance company's like, sure, um, let's take a look. We can definitely get reimburse you some money for that missing boat of yours. Uh -huh. uh, she's like, yeah, I swear, it's the Kraken. Kraken. It's like, okay, Kraken insurance, whatever. Here's your insurance money. Oh my god, she actually went and got some money for that boat. Actually, I believe Theodore might have done that. He was like, look, uh, my daughter's boat was taken from her. Uh, I had insurance on that boat. I need, I need my money. <laughs> what are you doing? Set a booby trap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> look at her, she's setting a booby Chick trap. <laughs> oh my god, she really set a booby trap in that shower. It's like, now I feel good about it. Alright, so she's got class in two hours apparently, but we're not gonna go. Instead, we are gonna make our way... What is that? Okay then. Instead, we are gonna make our way... To uh, the Rocky Reef, and we're gonna go visit that dive spot instead of going to school. We're gonna skip it today. Yeah, we're gonna... Do what we want to do. Say, <laughs> like, forget school. Bye, I gotta go to school. Bye. They sleep in anyway. They never pay attention. And never. They always got their own agendas, says <laughs> Lily. It's like, I'm gonna go do what I want. <laughs> they will never know I skip school. <laughs> That's what she's thinking. They will never know. Never know. With dad getting older and mom going back to work. Yeah. I'm that good, she says. Examine shark? What? You see a shark? Oh! Oh my god, she sees a shark. Oh my gosh, it's circling her. Oh my gosh, it's circling her. Oh! Ah! I didn't know they could attack her above water! No! Lily! 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 Oh my god! Mauled by a shark. You did a dance with a shark and the shark stepped on your toes and your face from shark fight. Oh my god. She she lived to tell the tale, but she just got mauled by a damn shark. Uh, I didn't know they could attack her above water. We're getting away from there. We're... Oh my god. We are gonna go closer to a beach. Where Where's a good beach to go... Oh my god, okay, look, um, let's come here, and we're gonna go snorkel here, okay? We're gonna get away from all these goddamn sharks. I forgot the rocky reef spawns thousands of sharks. Oh my gosh, just get away from here. This is a dangerous spot. Let's go. She's like, I can't stay here. I just got mauled by a shark. I didn't know sharks could attack you above water. That is insane. Oh my god. She's like, I do love you, Martina, but I wish you would believe tell you that actually happened it's like enough enough palmyra oh, enough please. just oh, enough okay oh, do you know what my dream oh, is right now <sighs> what is it martina she's like i want to have a child a with you but when you're talking like this it scares me and it makes me it makes me not even want to you know 
because I don't even know if you could handle it. Yeah, a formal yeah. dance is happening soon. It's going to be on Sunday at 6 p.m. Wow. Oh, okay. She's skipping school. Oh, my God. Her grades are so low. She's got a D. Oh, my God. Lily, you are in deep shaka. And when I say shaka, I mean shaka. You have a D in school right now. And you were mauled by a shark. Oh, that needs to be unclogged. Dad, you need to come back after you eat and do all that and fix our toilet. It's like, ah. Oh. He's like, what happened to your toilet? He goes, it's, it's clogged, Dad, it's clogged. He's like, all right, all right, I'll be there in a minute. She's like, she is still kind of scared to go scuba diving at the rocky reef ever oh my god why can't i speak she's still kind of scared to go scuba diving at the rocky reef because she got mauled by a shark but she wants to like go ahead and uh you know learn how to scuba dive and stuff so because she's like she feels like she has a connection to the water you know she loves the water she loves to swim and she I thought she had the irresistible trait. I'm probably going to have to fix that for her. But anyways, uh, yeah, she's just, uh, she just loves the water. She wants to be out in it, just like her mother. So, yeah, she is going to go scuba dive at the Rocky Reef shortly after that. Loading up the band's equipment is always a chore, but sometimes it can be downright dangerous. A careless roadie almost dumped all of the guitars out the back of the bus while loading them, and if it wasn't for Martina's quick action to save the guitars, they could have taken some damage. Martina got a small cash bonus and a lot of congratulations. I feel like he needs to retire from work, to be honest, so... Yeah, he's gonna retire after he's done helping his daughter clean house. Are you sure you want him to retire? Yes, I do. After a lifetime of sweat and toil, Theodore Medina just retired from his job. He'll never forget the moment he walked out of the work for the last time. And she reached level 7 of the uh, athletic skill. So we eat. And then he can go home shortly after he celebrates. So let's go catch that fish. Why not? She's like, oh my gosh, the underwater sea. The sea underwater is so cool. It's like, wow. What in the world? That was a huge splash. What is going on above me? Jesus. Oh, some kelp. Um, she's gonna come over here and just harvest some kelp. She's like, ooh, what's this? So she's gonna come over here and uh, harvest it. She found like a third kelp and uh, her normal kelp. It's a mermaid, mermaidic kelp. She's like, huh, what a kind of kelp is this? She's like, but it beckons for her to eat it though. Lily's like, I want to eat it. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's like, uh. It looks good. I want to eat it. <laughs> Take a shower, eat something, and then wait for your wife to come home because y'all just got some discussions to do. Uh, congratulations, Martina has been promoted to music talent scout. Uh oh, she she made it home and she's wearing she's in her bathing suit. Uh oh, he's about to scold her. He knows he's got intuition and eyes and ears around the whole dang islands. Okay, Lily, he's smart. She's like, but Dad, it's like you are in big trouble, young lady. You better not do that again. Maybe you should help around the house to get on my good side. Ugh, got in trouble from skipping school. Getting in trouble is no big deal as long as it was worth it. She's like, thank you for not grounding me, Dad. He's like, yeah, but don't do it again. You're going to school tomorrow, and I'm going to make sure you go. Okay, Dad, okay. I'm going to hug her. Okay, you just... Mm. Did you just kill a fly and eat it? Mm. Palmyra, I, I don't, I don't uh, even know what to say to that. You killed a fly it. and you ate it. Uh, uh, uh. I really wanted to discuss with you about adopting a first baby. Maybe this weekend? And she was like, um, 
<laughs> okay, yeah, that sounds like a adored. good idea. I would love to have a child. I also <laughs> want to have our first kid. She's like, you do? She's like, yes, absolutely. I always want to expand our family with you, Martina. It would be great. And Martina's like, oh my god. I love you, Palmyra. <laughs> So they're going to come out here and have a good time and uh, just be happy with each other. It's like, I can't believe we're actually going to do this. We're going to adopt a baby. It's like, yeah, no. It's so exciting. Did anybody put him to bed? Oh, they did. Oh, responsible parents. Look at that. They put their child to bed before they actually went to bed. Look at that. I'm proud of y'all. Good job. And with that being said, I think I'm going to stop this part right here. And thank you all so much for watching. And I really hope you like this part. And I will see you in the next part of The Sims 3 Island Paradise. Everybody have a great day.